name is uh, Adam Benet, and I am the lead for the Center of Excellence for Digital Innovation at the, the Education and Early Childhood Development, or the Department of Ed uh, in Fredericton. And so basically, I've been a, a high school technology teacher since 2008 uh, in Anglophone East, and uh, got to teach things like computer science and tech support, um, dabble in those areas. And a bunch of years ago, I kind of sort of stumbled into this competition called Cyber Patriot, which we call Cyber Titan now. Um, and a few of us in the early days got involved with uh, participating in this competition. And um, then there was some really serious uptake with uh, Cyber Titan over the years uh, with Cyber New Brunswick. Uh, and we had, you know, upwards of one year we had about 40 teams and the next year after that we had over 130 teams. So it's been it's been something that's been building and growing in New Brunswick for quite a while. Uh, obviously things tapered off a little bit throughout the, the last couple of years, um, just with the, the realities in the classroom and whatnot. Uh, but we're back to sort of, you know, having more participation. And I know Mr. Gotro is on the call and he has had students that have participated in this and teams over the years. So that's exciting. Not sure if any of the other two that are joining us have um, uh, participated yet. I know George Street uh, Middle is a, it's a uh, school in Fredericton, uh, Tim, uh, and they, I know, I would heard from uh, Jacob, who's a teacher there early in the year, looking at, he, I think he registered, but then kind of backed out after it just, you know, the start of the school year is kind of challenging anyway, but we'll be in a better position for next year's competition anyway, I think. So without any further ado, I'll stop talking for a minute. Uh, I'll, um, I'll introduce my, my friend here, Tim King. Uh, so, uh, Tim, I'll let you do some of your interests, but I'll just say Tim's been a, uh, um, Oh, perfect. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I'm just reading the chats here. Oh, perfect. Oh, OK. So uh, Ms. Johnson, uh, just taking a stab at the, the dark there. So perfect. Oh, hey, hey, there's some students. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Hey, everybody. Yeah, that's awesome. 27 students. There we go. Um, so yeah, so basically, um, uh, Tim has been a Per, you're a high school teacher always. Have you been, Tim? I believe. Yeah, I mean, on my practicum, my time in middle school, that that was fun. They they had me uh, cover kindergarten, so it was like uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger in the movie. You know? <laughs> there you go. Uh, so a couple. Oh, there's uh, uh, Brittany is here. Okay, hi, Ms. Whitehead. I'm not sure. I, I know it's hard with names. Try to figure out what what uh, everybody prefers to go by, but. Um, so again, my name is Adam Benet. I am the uh, the lead of the Center of Excellence for Digital Innovation. And I'm lucky to be joined with my friend uh, Tim King this morning from ICTC. And um, ICTC stands for the Information and Communications <laughs> Technology Council. Council? Council. Boom. Perfect. Um, and um, so today we just wanted to give a, a quick overview of what Cyber Titan is, essentially. Um, there's some students that are listening like, hey, I already know a ton about it because I did it. And that's awesome. And exactly at, at Nashua, there's 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 uh, several teams, I believe, and I know over the years have participated in the competition. So we've had a pretty good uh, middle school uh, program going. And uh, anyway, we wanted to just do a, a little session to talk about Cyber Titan, why we think it's important in a good competition, and something that students should think about getting involved in. Um, as just to get to learn more about computers and technology, but it's also great for careers and what you might do with your life down the road. So. I'll let Tim uh, kind of take over, maybe share, just do a quick overview of what uh, what uh, Cyber Titan is all about, and we can just kind of go from there. Yeah, I'll, I'll skip through it really quick, but uh, yeah. let's see if I can uh, share a screen here. So I made this presentation um, quite a while back um, because we were trying to get schools. Um, I teach in Ontario, but not in Toronto. Uh, Ontario is two places. It's around Toronto and all the rest of us. Um, so um, where I teach, I teach in Fergus, Ontario, tiny town, maybe 3,000 people. Um, and Fergus is like our school is literally surrounded by farm fields. So uh, we're mainly a farming community. Uh, we should not be a cyber titan nationals. Um, all the other teams we're up against are like these like STEM specialist schools from like Winnipeg and Toronto. And, and, and then there's us from Fergus. No one ever knows where we're from. So if you ever have that feeling like you're talking to someone from Toronto and they don't know where you're from, I get that feeling all the time. And I live in Ontario. <laughs> 
So um, anyway, uh, we made this presentation. I'm just going to rip through it really quick. There's a couple of key ideas I want to get across here. Um, first of all is uh, because we've got some people who have already done it, um, I'll bounce over here to this bit. Uh, if you've not done the competition, what's cool about it is you, you're on virtual machines, which is like a big sandbox. So you can go in there and mess that up. And if you mess it up, you can just reset it and start again. So there's no pressure here. You're not going to break anything. This is an opportunity for you to go really deep into an operating system, do some surgery on it, and then see what the results are. So if you've never played with VMs before, virtual machines, this is a chance to get familiar with that technology. If you've had trouble getting a computer for this, I've got some secret good news, which is why you want to talk to me directly in these meetings. Um, we're talking to Computers for Schools, which is a Canadian-wide thing. Uh, you've got it in New Brunswick. Um, and what they're going to do is put Cyber Titan team packs together with dual monitors, fast CPUs, uh, lots of RAM, SSDs, a good fast computer with multiple screens. And we're going to send out team packs to people. So you'll have six computers, one for each person on your team. You're going to have epic tech. And then you'll be able to put this together as like a little Cyber Titan mini lab in the back of your classroom or, you know, in, in another room. And then you can go to town on it. Um, and this should even things out. Because, again, one of the things my kids found was we were up against kids with way more tech than we had. And uh, we always had to DIY our own. We, like, built our own computers to do Cyber Titan. So, yeah. um, so hopefully this evens the playing field a little bit. So um, That's exciting. next year. Next yep. year, that should be in place. And Adam is my first go-to guy to test for it. <laughs> so uh, if you want to talk to anyone, talk to Adam, um, he, and he can get you on a list. And we'd love to test this process and just make sure it's working. Um, and then you could be like our beta testers for brand hey. new tech. Um, the other side of this is uh, the Cisco Packet Tracer stuff and, and Cisco generally. Um, we weren't involved with Cisco before we got into Cyber Titan, and now we're a Net Academy. We've got all sorts of access to high level stuff. Um, if you've already done Cyber Titan and you're looking for some epic next level uh, training material, um, have your teacher reach out to me. I can yeah. put you on our Cisco Net Academy at ICTC and give you cyber operations, which will teach you Wireshark. It will teach you some crazy next level tools. And yeah. uh, when you come to Cyber Titan next year, Cyber Patriot, you'll be able to rip through it. Um, so if you're looking for that, we also have a really cool uh, cybersecurity course. Um, that you can just take on your own time. It takes you into a cloud-based VM. So you go through a window, um, and Adam's played with this before, so he, he knows it. Uh, super easy to use. So it's a VM, but you don't need to load up any software on your computer. It's all through a, a web, a web uh, browser. So um, that's next level there. Um, so the tech, if you've done this before, you know what's, uh, what's good about it. The tech is one thing. But for me, it was the opportunities. Uh, the first time we went to Cyber Titan Nationals, it was in Fredericton. And uh, again, we're, we're a little farm community. So out of my team of four kids, three of them had never been on an airplane before. Um, and uh, three of them had never left Ontario. So this was like a mind opening thing. That, that's these guys here. So, and that's them in front of the river in Fredericton there just before Nationals. So uh, we went to Nationals in Fredericton, blew everybody's mind. We had a great time. Um, I got to actually have lunch with the head of Homeland Security in the U.S. because it was a conference on. So if you're a teacher and you're involved in this and you can get into it, uh, that's really cool. Um, one of the angles I'm trying to play here as well is we've only ever had one middle school team come to Nationals, and I'm a big proponent of having three. So um, I'm hoping moving forward in the future, we have three national finalist middle school teams, and then they get to battle it out for top middle school team in Canada. Um, right now, the way we do is one middle school team gets to come, but you're up against all the high school teams, and that, right. it's not a very even playing field. Yeah. So, But I would love to see like a middle school specific competition. Right. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, if you want to feel for how we do it, this is our homemade lab. Um, and this is how we set up for a game day. So when Cyber Patriot Round comes on, we go to submarine mode, uh, turn out all the lights, turn on all the LEDs overhead. Everything's animated, so all the LEDs are changing colors and everything. And then yeah. we have the scoreboard up at the front of the screen, and every time the team gets points, everybody's cheering and like that. So uh, for those of you who have done this, you know how cool it is to play. Um, but for, for those of you who haven't yet, this is a really cool competition. Now you get to go into this. You get treated like an athlete, basically. Yeah. Um, our school does it like a, a 
it's like an in-school field trip, right? Yeah. So all the, all the people get pulled out of class. We're just in the lab all together for the day, get in some pizza and go to town. Right. Um, yeah. And, and that's what we do. So uh, yeah. there you go. Yeah. And yeah, and just just to piggyback on that. So any of the, so there's some students sitting here listening to, to 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 you and myself that have done this, right? They've competed, they've played, they've been on a team, so they know a little bit about it. For the rest of you sitting there, right? There's a couple of things to talk about. Number one, a lot of our students um, have, have don't necessarily get an opportunity to really play with uh, with uh, technology in terms of a computer. So a lot of our students, right, are using tablets and phones and gaming consoles, but they don't actually use, right? I know a lot of you have, but every day you're not using a computer like maybe we did in the, in the old days, I'll say, because uh, things have changed. So when we use a device like a console or a tablet, so much is taken care of for us like you don't have to think very much you just get to use the apps and get on social media and play when we're talking about like a windows based computer and linux but linux will say to the side for those that know you know for those that don't you don't but maybe one day you'll learn about it it's pretty cool but for a windows computer there's a whole host of things you can do to customize it right everything from a most novice user to a really advanced user right and there's the more you peel back those layers of of the technology with a windows based laptop or desktop it's pretty fascinating because people like tim and myself we, we've used computers our whole lives obviously and love technology and networking and stuff like that but you have to think about like even in your school right now if you look around in your computer lab and your, all of your teachers have laptops Somebody has to manage all of those. Somebody has to set all of the security and the software up, right? And so this competition puts you in that sort of IT uh, mindset, right? For those of you that might not, and again, maybe you've never really played with a computer, but it's everybody should. You should have an opportunity to, to play and tinker and try because it's pretty fascinating. And the more you get into it, I don't know about uh, you, you, Tim, but for me, Learning about something, knowing I can accomplish something, and figuring out how to accomplish that is so rewarding. Uh, same with building a computer, all those things. So I hope that lots of students sitting here think like, oh, yeah, maybe I could get involved in this somehow. And what I will be doing for any of the teachers that are sitting there, uh, as we go further into the school year in May and June and July, or May, July, uh, into April, May and June, um, I'm hoping to get into schools and to do a demo right, of Cyber Titan, because Cyber Titan itself is sort of an, an intense competition. And again, for those that don't know, Tim, we, okay, just set up for them how like registration works and then the rounds work and what the team's composition is, if you would. Yeah. So um, this uh, May, we've got Cyber Titan Nationals coming up again. So um, early May, we've got Cyber Titan Nationals. Right around that same time, Cyber Patriot for next year is, opens up. And um, I didn't uh, pull up the Cyber Patriot there, but um, I can show you uh, what they look like. But basically what Cyber Patriot is, is um, here, let's uh, do some more sharing. Yeah. Uh, th this is the official ICTC one. This is one I should have shown you before. Forget that other one. I, I didn't show you any of that. Um, but uh, yeah, so um, here we are. And what Cyber Patriot is, is it's uh, a US-based competition. This is run by the US Air Force and Space um, Administration. Um, so these are basically the, the people who, who work in the US military and Air Force and Space, but they do a lot of communications too. So that's what their background is. Um, Cyber Patriot has been around a long time. I think this is 16th season. I'm trying to do my own like yeah. here. Yep. I, I think it's XVI coming up. Um, so um, Cyber Patriot is like sort of the, the granddaddy of it all. And then what happened was over time, other countries said, and you know, like allied countries of the US said, can we get involved with this? Um, so basically Cyber Titan launched in 2017 and it's the Canadian Center of Excellence for Cyber Patriot. Yeah. So w when you're in the competition, you're up against kids from like all over the world. There's kids in Germany, Italy, England, um, you know, Australia, uh, Japan. Um, so you've really got people from all over here and, and you're right up against them step for step in it. It's super sort of, uh, you know, it's, it's exciting. Um, but what happens is you, you sign up in the summer. If you sign up early, you, you get a good discount on it. Um, the really cool part, though, is if you can get an entire team together of um, not boys, so a girls team, um, then basically what happens is uh, they waive the fee. So this is free to access. So if you've got some girls who want to get together and just form a team, um, I, I coached the first female national finalist team. 
and uh, still by far one of my favorite teams. Watching how they worked was awesome, like a completely different approach. Mm -hmm. um, and then since then, all of our national finalist teams have been co-ed. Um, prior to that, we were quite gendered, but it, it makes a really rich team base. Um, anyway, so you sign up in the summer, come the fall, you start practicing. They give you tons of material um, if you want to practice. They give you practice images you can work with and all of that. Uh, Cisco gives you full access to the Net Academy, so you can learn how the networking software works. Um, and then uh, October is round one. Uh, round one's usually really gentle. Uh, it's just sort of here's here's the images, get a feel for how, how it all works. And then uh, you rock into round two where they turn up the heat a little bit. Um, and then based on how you did in the first two rounds, they put you in a tier, so you're platinum, gold, or silver. And then you go to the state finals in December. Um, state finals, uh, now they're pitching fast balls at you. It, it's intense. Um, but if you hang in there and you finish in the, the top half of, uh, of the state rounds, you get to go to the semis in January. And uh, the semis in January, no holds barred. Basically, all the people who make this competition, and these are cyber operators working in the field. Um, the cyber operators, the gloves come off. Now it's we're going to throw everything at you and see how you do. Um, I think the top score in the semifinals this year was like 120 points. So you, if you've played, you know there's 100 points in each image. So usually, like you've got a score out of 400, and these are the best teams. And the best teams are getting like yeah. 120 points. Yeah. It's yeah. hard, but it's if you want to see the edge, if you really want to see what it's all about, real world experience. And it's and, all hands on. And that's the best part. It's hands on. You actually get to do the thing and it builds up in terms of complexity, just like a video game would as you progress through the video game. And that's the other cool thing. A competition like this, is it, it is gamified in that. There's a real time, like a scoring engine that's repeat or uh, uh, spitting out your score as you're doing the things inside of the the image. And again, when I say the word image, it just means that virtual version of Windows or whatnot. And so again, teams of two to six, right? With the six person being sort of a, an auxiliary person, like a spare. Um, but uh, and schools can have multiple teams. We've had some schools that have had three, four, five teams. And again, like you said. Uh, the, when the registration opens in the spring, it costs zero dollars to register right up front. And what that does is it gets you on like sort of the mailing list and it gets you all the info and, and then access to the training material. And then what that can help is in September when everybody comes back to school, you're ready to start practicing and exploring and getting a little bit ready, right? And so at the end of the day, this entire competition, right? We're talking about giving skills to students Right. And to learn this is a good skill to have anyway, to learn how to use a computer properly and to know about the security. And then that leads into career opportunities down the road as well, because Cyber Titan, it's what we would call a defensive competition. So you're not doing any offensive like hacking. Yeah. This competition is all about defending, right? Protecting the fortress, whatever analogy you want to use. Right. And then it also is teaching you, like you said, some of the computer networking stuff. And I know uh, Tim talked about um, uh, Cisco net, uh, the Cisco packet tracer. So most of you are sitting in a classroom right now. If you look up on your ceiling in your classroom, you're probably going to see a white uh, white ish box that's, you know, about that big and has rounded corners with a blue light, hopefully not red light flashing on it. And if you look up at the ceiling, that's. And some of you sitting there would be like, oh, yeah, I've noticed that before. Some of you might know what that is. Some of you might not. It's what we call an access point. It's sort of like what we have at home with our with our routers, if we're the wireless internet router, just as a kind of a comparable. And that system that's sitting in the ceiling up there, like that costs real money and it took some real expertise to put it there. It just didn't magically appear. Right. And so that thing has a wire that goes way across the other side of your school, plugs it to a data center or to a certain like switches and hubs and all kinds of crazy wires. Right. But that's the foundation of the Internet. And so not only do we learn about how to protect a computer and, and your windows, you learn about computer networking a little bit as well, because the computer network is just as important as the backbone to everything that we do. Right. Your teacher's on a laptop now. We're this is all through the Internet. And the Internet's a magical, really cool piece of technology that took a lot of years to create. And uh, what's the stat, Tim? 80 to 90 percent of all Internet traffic passes through Cisco hardware. And I know that's sort of I threw a lot of big words at you there, probably. 
But when we're talking about hardware, again, things like routers, switches, hubs, things like that. So Cisco is, is so important. And you learn a ton of that. So networking is a profession. Cybersecurity is a profession with a whole lot of roles underneath it. Uh, but then so is just general IT support, right? I'm sure, Tim, I don't know about you, but I always tell my students, it's both a blessing and a curse to be really good at computers, right? And because all of your friends and all of your family are going to be asking you for help for the rest of your life. <laughs> now, it's obviously nice to help people, um, and that's a lovely thing. But all of this to say, keep your eyes open for Cyber Titan stuff coming down the pipe. I will be communicating it to schools and to teachers, right? If you're a student sitting there and you've thought about it, maybe you like technology, but maybe you don't, think about getting involved at least looking at trying to like try the practice part uh, in, the, in the fall and that sort of thing. Again, it's it doesn't cost anybody to register a team. You you only have to pay, uh, it's into like October or early November when you actually have to pay and submit a formal roster. If you don't do that, you still get access to all the stuff leading up to it. As and just, if you drop out, no foul, no problem, no ex payment. Don't exactly. worry about Exactly, you don't, you don't so, pay, yeah, there's yeah. no risk. Zero risk, all of great opportunity to learn as students myself could come in i'm looking also and tim knows this too like we were just self-taught to an extent or like did some college university stuff but we also have cybersecurity mentors who help so there's actual real people that work there in fredericton right that might be able to either remote in like this or come to your school in the fall and actually work with you right, right. and that's something i can help arrange too maybe we could pull a team for a whole day and do a whole hands-on day that'd be really cool too right depending upon how many teams are at school so just saying that as I'm offering my services to your teachers sitting there, um, I know the school that we're mainly talking to has a lot, a lot of expertise in this area, but and we're really thankful for it because it's a great thing. Do it in middle school, then you get to go to high school and do it, and then move on to the next thing in life, right? And it's not just about cybersecurity. Uh, the, the girls team who went in 2019, um, on that team, Alex is going into neurosurgery. She's doing her pre-med to do med, to, and she wants to be a neurosurgeon. But when she went in for that, they said, oh, you, you know about technology? And she said, yeah, I was a Cyber Titan national finalist. And suddenly she got bumped to the front of the line. Huh. And that was for neurosurgery, because in health tech, you need good security. So having the chief surgeon have some understanding of Cyber Titan and cybersecurity, it, it really helps. So if you're interested in health tech, financial tech, doesn't matter what you're doing. Um, yeah. If you're interested in farming, one of our best kids is, is a farmer. But his family farm, they're using all sorts of IoT devices, right? It's the Internet of Things. So they've got sensors everywhere that are all wired up. His farm is secure. And now all the local farms are going to him to say, how do we do that? Yeah. So so Tim hits on such an important thing. It's not just about like, people that want to exactly get into a career in cyber or tech. This is a skill set that will help you in anything you do in your life. Like you said, from a farmer's field to brain surgery, technology is used every step of the way and learning how to use technology puts you uh, above others. So that's sort of um, where we just, yeah, wanted to land. That's a great kind of ending. Um, I, yeah, we don't wanna, we don't wanna keep classes too long. I know uh, we have other things to move on to. At this point, if anybody, any of the classes there have any questions, they could certainly pop it in the chat or turn the camera on if you feel comfortable. And if not, right, uh, any of your teachers can email me anytime. And I'm in connection with Tim all the time. And, and we would love to come into your school and do a day. If there's some students that want to just do a whole day, maybe we could arrange that with some of your teachers. I would love to. I'd love to get in and talk to you in, in person and that sort of thing. So, so yeah. Um, yeah, is there any questions? And uh, before you even do the competition, if you just want to do a cyber day and we'll come in and give you the cloud based stuff and you yeah. can just give it a try and see if you dig it or not. Uh, it's no commitment, no problem. We can just pop in and, and give you access to that material and you can have a go. Right. So what, what Tim is saying is that ICTC has uh, online tools that you all can tap into through me or through him or me to him. And and if students actually want to explore and learn about some of this stuff and some of those online uh, self paced courses. If some of the students wanted to, to get enrolled in an online course to learn more, you could do that. Uh, can you do that with a full class or a small group for you to come do an intro? Absolutely, yes, yeah. Yes, I could come in. Uh, uh, Jill, sorry, I, uh, I could certainly, uh, we can arrange something either virtually, I could physically come in, we can get some of the students enrolled in some of those online platforms to dabble in the uh, in the lab, if you will. 
And that's the best part. It's a sandbox. Can't break anything. Well, you can, but it's in a sandbox. You don't have to worry about it. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And yeah, uh, so I, I'd really like to see a New Brunswick team uh, top of the podium. So yeah. uh, I've got extra learning materials. I would be happy to share with the Cyber Titan teams who already exist. So awesome. you want access to Cyber Ops or anything else, just let me know. I'll get you in the door. Oh, perfect. Oh, Jen yeah, look at that. Like uh, Ontario teacher removed MB. Uh, love to start a club and uh, any resources. Yes, absolutely. Um, Jennifer, you're living my dream. <laughs> Get me out. T Tim's an honorary maritimer, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'd be happy. Uh, 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 Jen, yeah, if you if you want to send me an email, if you think of after this, and we could uh, go back and forth and figure something out, I'd love to help. I'd love to help in any way. Yeah. Absolutely. I could come in. Uh, best decision we ever made. There you go. <laughs> Tim's on the hunt for some property. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, if nobody else has anything, um, I know I got to hop to a call. And I know, Tim, thank you so much for jumping on, talking a little bit about Cyber Titan. All the classes, thank you so much for hopping on. And if you're teachers, if you want to contact me, please do. And I would love to uh, find ways to do the stuff we just talked about, right? Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Have a great day, everybody. Bye. Okay. Bye-bye.